Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do uh, your love reading for August. Please remember this is a general reading. If you like um, a personal reading, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, it is general and timing is uh, fluid and flexible. Um, if you'd like to check out your other signs, there is a video playlist link in the description box as well. The last thing that I have for you is I am doing um, a giveaway at the end of the month. If you're new to my channel, I'm giving away uh, two personal readings. Um, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. You just need to like and comment. And then there will be a winner's video the first week of every month. Uh, so make sure you look out for that video uh, to see if you're a winner. And you, uh, you can turn on your notifications as well for my videos and uh, for the winter video so that you don't miss it, all right? So good luck, Taurus. Also wanna say thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, support. I appreciate it. And I do read all of your comments, so thank you. All right, let's get started, Taurus. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus? For August, for love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Let's get two cards for Taurus. Wow, this card's been coming out a lot this month. Let's get one more card for Taurus. All right. Okay, so the first card you have, this is from the... The Soulmate Manifest Oracle deck. I hope I'm saying that in the right order. This is a newer deck for me. So you have harmony is pure love, for love is, com is complete agreement. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So I feel here with this card, you also have here, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our holes are our souls are connected. So I feel like for some of you, you may be in separation with your, your person um, or there may be some distance. And I feel like maybe at the moment, the two of you may not be seeing things on the same page or things may not be in harmony um, how they should be is what I'm getting from these two messages, all right? So I'm gonna pull um, a couple Romance Angel cards. We'll do some tarot, and then uh, we'll pull some more Romance Angels and um, maybe a couple of the Lover Oracle cards as well. So let's get two cards here for Taurus. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. What love, oh, we got too many there. What love messages do you have for Taurus for August? In love, what messages do you have for Taurus? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. <clears throat> okay, so we have Honeymoon, um, which can be a distance card because I sense that some of you may be at a distance from each other or may um, be in separation. Let's get one more card. Okay. <clears throat> so we have here... Um, the honeymoon card, uh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay. Um, you know, for the cards that you have here, I also see this as a distance card. Um, this can also be, you know, you or someone, you know, walking away from a situation where there may have been some conflict. I'm sensing that there may be some com conflict here with the sadness um, and harmony, being in complete harmony because I feel like there may be some sadness around um, the two of you or you and someone else not being um, on the same page, okay? So I feel like there may be a little bit of distance. It may be physical distance or there just may not be a lot of communication right now, all right? The next card you have is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So some of you might have decided to move on from this connection because uh, the person that you were dealing with, you may not have been on the same page or the two of you may not have, um, you know, seen things the same way, 
okay, is what I'm getting here. So I feel here, this is an indication, either you have chosen yourself, okay, to love yourself and do what's best for you, or this is um, a message from your angels that you really need to really focus on what's good for you. If you're feeling unhappy, excuse me, <coughs> I'm sorry, I had to clear my throat there. If you're feeling unhappy and um, you know this person isn't treating you right, I feel here your angels are saying that you really need to love you and do what's best for you, okay, is what I'm getting here. I'm really upset because this card <laughs> has come out so much in the last week here, um, and I don't like to see people, you know, um, hurt and sad over situations here. So, all right, so let's move on to the tarot, see what comes out here. I'm using the Arcanum Tarot deck. I get quite a few people who um, ask, so I just want to let you know. And let's get one more good shuffle in here. These cards are a little bit big for my hands, so I have a hard time shuffling them. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus in love for August for sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Okay. So we have uh, two of pentacles. We have six of cups. Let's get one more card here for Taurus for love. And we have four of wands. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, five of pentacles. All right, so I feel here, yeah, there may be some distance. Somebody may have made you feel left out in the cold. Um, you know, you may have, someone may have just disappeared. All right, um, but definitely this is not a good feeling here. I always see this card in this deck. Um, this person is actually holding a bowl, um, but when you look at it from kind of at a distance, it looks like this person's holding their, their phone, their cell phone, and waiting for a text message. So I always see this card, um, you know, I feel like you're waiting for that message, okay? And remember, roles can always be reversed, so this could be the person that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo here. So the first card that I have here is the Two of Pentacles. Again, Earth Energy. So I feel here there's definitely something out of balance here. Um, you know, like I said, I feel like you and your person are not seeing things um, the same way. Um, so I feel like there's lack of stability here, okay? This can be an energy of juggling, okay? So um, there is that possibility here that if this person has ghosted you, this person may be, um, you know, out uh, exploring other options is what I'm getting. They can be juggling um, not just love interests, can be juggling work, finances, you know, career, uh, kind of covers all that, a family matter. So just know that that can be another situation. You have here the Six of Cups. So definitely feel here this is your soulmate, and this is why it's so painful, um, I feel here, to have this distance, okay? It's somebody that you're very, very much connected to. This can also be somebody um, that you um, were married to or married to. You may have children with this person, um, but there's definitely a strong um, emotional bond here is what I'm getting. <clears throat> The next card that you have is the Four of Wands, all right? So definitely get that this could have already been um, a committed relationship with someone that you were in. Um, can be, you know, someone, like I said, who you have children with. Can be Twin Flame energy as well. So let's get some more cards uh, to see if we can get some more clarity. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus in love? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, so we got some stuff falling out here. We have Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and we have Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Okay, we have Knight of Cups. <clears throat> 
Okay. So we have two of pentacles and we have ten of wands, all right? So definitely this is your energy or it could be another Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. We have fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sag. <clears throat> here with the ten of pentacles, I feel here definitely you're struggling with this situation. I feel like you're, you're definitely struggling with um, things not being in perfect balance or harmony with this person. So I definitely feel like this is overwhelming you. Now, because we have the Ten of Wands here, I feel like this is also an indication you may be going back and forth whether you want to let this connection go or not is what I'm getting as well, okay? For some of you, this may be a long time and coming challenge um, that you may be wanting to release, all right? You have here the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles here, again, this is your energy here. I feel like we talked about loving yourself first, and I feel here some of you may be choosing to love you first, and you may be actually being, it may be holding back from this person, um, and may even be a little bit guarded from this person. I feel like you're not as giving as how you may have been in the past with this person. I feel like you're not giving your um, complete self to this person, which is definitely making you more uh, attracted to this person, um, attractive to this person, but it's also about you loving you is what I'm getting. Okay, standing up for yourself here in the situation. You have here the Four of Pentacles and you have the Ace of Swords. Some of you may decide to make a clean break from this connection here, because I feel here you're really wanting this, um, you know, you're wanting this happy ending. You're wanting um, something more peaceful, joyful, committed even. Um, you know, I feel like you want a happy family life, but I also feel here um, that this situation is really burdening, burdening you right now. And um, I feel here too that, um, you know, you may want to cut this person out of your life is what I'm getting. You may want a fresh start. Um, it can also be you want some clarity, all right? You had the uh, Five of Pentacles earlier, which can be an indication, um, you know, this person left you out in the cold. And now you're wanting some clarity around that. Now, the bottom of the deck here, you have the Knight of Cups, all right? So I feel here with this, you're gonna, you're gonna hear from this person. I feel here this person is going to either reach out to you, um, send you some sort of message. I do feel here this person is going to be kind, um, may even give you an apology here. Uh, this can be a um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For some of you, this can be somebody new coming in here as well, is what I'm getting. However, I'm not really seeing any energy of somebody new, but this can be somebody new. For those of you who are deciding to move on from this person, okay? We have the emperor here, could be dealing with Aries energy here, all right? Um, <clears throat> I feel Taurus here, you know, this is about you taking control of your life, all right? I feel for some of you um, that you're really wanting to move on from this connection, this imbalance here, and um, you are wanting something new to come in. So I feel for a lot of you, this is going to be about you taking control of your life and moving forward. Because I do see here with the Ten of Cups that you do want happiness here. Like I talked about, this happy family energy here is what I'm getting. For some of you, um, for some of you, I feel like you could be dealing with third party energy as well. I, but I feel like that's a very small percentage, okay? Um, you know, we did talk about the juggling here. So I feel that's a small percentage, but I 
Spirit is giving me that message as well. I do feel here there's a possibility you could be dealing with somebody who's married, okay, and somebody very much so who's trying to control the situation as well. Now you have the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, so I, I feel here, Taurus, um, I do feel here there is some type of offer coming in here, all right? I feel there's something else coming that's more stable. Like I said, I did feel new energy coming in. Uh, this could be another uh, Taurus or a Capricorn or Virgo. And then look here, we have the world card. <clears throat> I do feel like this, um, this new offer coming in, okay, for um, some of you here. You know, it's not going to be for all of you, but I feel like there's a new person coming in because I do feel that there's going to be quite a few of you that are going to... Um, to cut this other person out of your life. And I feel here, um, you're gonna be closing the doors to this old energy. And I feel here, um, <coughs> excuse me, that um, it's gonna make you feel a lot better. You're gonna feel lighter, you're gonna feel freer, you're gonna feel like things are coming into balance. All right, um, this can be um, you know, a card of distance. If this is your person um, that you're already dealing with um, but I feel here this is energy that um, things are coming full circle here and I feel like there's a chance for you to start over with new energy with somebody new coming in okay but I feel here the strong message is that you need to choose you first in this situation all right so let's pull a couple of these lover Oracle cards <clears throat> you know for some um, you know there's more than one energy here there's a new energy um, and possibly for some there is um, this energy here that I feel like hurt you so let's get um, one message here from the lover's oracle deck for Taurus Okay, so the message that you have, Taurus, is at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Yeah, that's the, exactly the energy I'm feeling here. I feel like a lot of you are going to drop these burdens. This is a number 10. This is um, completing a cycle here and releasing those old hurts and the past of dealing with an energy of someone who has not been there for you is what I'm getting, or there's no balance here. Two of you aren't seeing things eye to eye. And again, here you have the world card, which tells me, um, you know, things are coming full circle here. You're being able to release this energy. And it can be just, um, you know, the repeating patterns. You know, if you've been repeating the same pattern, um, I feel here that is the other message as well. All right, Taurus, I hope you gained some clarity. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.